weird that we're even talking about right? it. Right? A hundred percent. That the f***ing guy from Disney is going to fight Mike Tyson, <laughs> right? the YouTube kid. And he's also doing this very unique uh, kind of training with electrical muscular stimulation. That I've talked to some people that um, do that. And it, it's, uh, it has massive benefits of rehabilitating injuries. I, I, know he's, I know he's old. But goddamn, he can hit so hard and he's still so fast in the ring. Joe Rogan has just reacted to Mike Tyson's new training footage while also warning Jake Paul of the massive challenge that lies ahead of him. Mike Tyson in his prime. Go back and watch some of those early days. He's just coming yeah, at you. Yeah, he was he's just sick. moving. There's just so much to there's so much to calculate. Yeah, and the the bombs are coming your way and you're yeah. trying to hit it with jabs. Yeah, like, ah. Moreover, there's a particular issue that's been weighing on the minds of figures like David Benavides, potentially casting a shadow over the event's appeal to viewers. Tyson's age. Yeah. Well, Mike Tyson is always going to be a fighter at heart. You know what I mean? So it's really just how he prepares. And um, it's going to be a good fight, bro. Jake Paul, he's going to, I think he knows it. I mean, it's Mike Tyson. You got yeah. to get ready. So yeah. we'll see how it turns out. Despite expressing admiration for the former heavyweight champion's fighting spirit, Benavidez couldn't shake his concerns about Tyson's advancing age. The WBC super middleweight contender elaborated on the crucial factor of Tyson's preparation in determining the outcome. Additionally, he emphasized the necessity for Paul to be fully prepared to confront Tyson in the ring. Just, uh, you know, just... Um, Hopefully it's not, you know, nothing too crazy. Right. You know what I mean? Mike that's is only, 60, bro. That's so the only like, thing that worries me, bro. Yeah. But like I said, if if Mike goes on there and, you know, gives Jake a good fight, we're not, not going to be surprised. I'm not surprised. You know what I mean? Mike, hey, he's from Brownsville. Yeah. So. However, he also conveyed his openness to the possibility of Tyson delivering a spirited performance, potentially giving Paul a run for his money. Should Tyson manage to offer a competitive showing, Benavidez stated he wouldn't be caught off guard by such an outcome. Yeah, bro, Mike, he's, a, he's like I say, he's a world champion. He's a fighter at heart, you know what I mean? So I, I think it's going to be a good fight. Do you like these type of fights, like the influencer or just the... I don't know what to call it influencer, but just, you know, the fights that's not real boxers yeah. in that way. Like, do you like that? You know what, bro? I don't I don't hate on them. I used to not like them back then, but now that I see that, you know, you got these influencers, you got these other people, they're actually showing commitment. They're showing yeah. their passion for boxing. I think Jake And at good. the end, yeah, just like Jake. Despite Tyson's advanced years, the majority of observers have not tipped Paul for victory at AT&T Stadium. Nevertheless, Paul contends that the match is evenly balanced, describing it as a 50-50 affair. He proceeded to outline the factors that could potentially sway the outcome in his favor. Paul said on his podcast, it's very 50-50, but to the people who don't think I'm going to win, it's like I'm younger, faster, sharper, and can hit at the same levels that he can and be able to take his punches. It's still uncertain how Tyson's advancing age might impact his endurance, agility, and waning strength when facing off against Paul, and the degree to which it will play a role. Reflecting on the formidable legacy of Iron Mike, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is confident Tyson would emerge victorious in a fair match against Jake Paul. He has shared his candid thoughts on the highly anticipated exhibition match featuring Tyson and Paul delivering a straightforward forecast. Chavez Jr. said, if it was a real fight, Mike Tyson with one punch put Jake Paul to sleep. There's hardly any room for uncertainty regarding his stance on the YouTuber's odds against the iconic heavyweight. Chavez Jr. seems to scoff at the legitimacy of the exhibition format, suggesting a fight wouldn't even be competitive. He added, but since it's the exhibition, it might be the decision. Chavez Jr.'s stance suggests that the bout might endure longer, potentially leading to a decision win for either contender, given the lack of competitiveness anticipated in the match. There's speculation about Chavez Jr.'s interpretation of Paul Tyson as not a genuine bout. Mike Tyson has attempted to clarify some inquiries surrounding this captivating event arranged for Netflix. Yet, in a twist that caught many off guard, Tyson clarified on Fox News, asserting firmly that this is a real fight. This is called an exhibition. But if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. Unconventional in every sense, this showdown will deviate from the customary exhibition rules, promising a no-holds-barred spectacle, as emphasized by the 57-year-old legend himself. However, one mustn't underestimate Tyson's prowess, despite the vintage year noted on his birth certificate. Mike Tyson confidently rebuffs any notion of being past his prime, dismissing the idea that his 27-year-old opponent could outpace him with a scoff. I don't, I don't think he's faster than me. Right. How hard are you training? 
I, I train every day. The buzz is palpable everywhere you turn. No conversation seems complete without delving into the showdown between Tyson and Paul. For Logan Paul, this fight carries a deeply personal significance. Considering his younger brother's future and potentially his well-being hangs in the balance, it's undeniable that the latest episode of Impulsive delved deeply into the upcoming fight. Joined by co-host Mike Malak and special guest Paul Michael Levick, better known as Triple H to wrestling enthusiasts, they dissected the event in detail. Mike Malak asked Triple H for his thoughts on the Jake Paul Tyson fight, and Triple H responded that he was still uncertain about the fight. He had seen sparring and training clips of the two, but he was unable to determine whether the footage was fresh or old. A program on Netflix. <laughs> like, yeah. what are you, like, what happens, dude? Yeah, you know, this is one of those things where, just for me, my just own personal opinion of how I feel about it, like, I don't know, like, can he do this? I see clips of him fighting, but I don't know, you know, or, or sparring or doing mitts or whatever, right. and I don't know when that's from. I don't know if that's brand new. I don't know, you know. Logan Paul attempted to draw an analogy of Tyson with Jedi Master Yoda from Star Wars. He mentioned that Yoda would be hopping around and doing whatever, but when Yoda goes to battle, you can't be Yoda. However, Malak responded by reminding Logan that it was a piece of fiction. Yeah. Like, you know Yoda. Yeah. Like, he'd be hoppling around, doing right. whatever, but when Yoda goes Activates. to battle, right. you can't be Yoda. But that's yeah. a... Uh, that's a fiction. That's a movie, man. Bro, who cares? Well, I don't know. Who I just think it's not Yoda. It's, well, it's, it's just an analogy. Alien, man. And I'm and, like, and, and like. Afterward, the co-host of Impulsive stressed the significance of the sparring footage featuring Mike Tyson, suggesting it might be the most recent. Should this assertion be validated, it deeply troubles him at his very essence. Malak said he wouldn't want to face Tyson at all. Triple H remarked that Tyson seemed to hit like a tank and that Jake was really good at keeping people outside. Yeah, so, yeah, that's yeah. what I was to when when I when I first heard that deal and you know I saw the announcement just like everybody else did and was like he's gonna fight Tyson and then just in my mind I was like oh that'll be a good pay per view that'll be cool like and all that and then I heard Netflix and I was like oh they're gonna run a pay per view and then when I realized oh, no no it's just on Netflix yeah. I was like oh my kid's a genius no it's gonna be but crazy like, it's 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 really smart um, in discussing Tyson's recent interview Mike Malak noted Tyson's admission of nerves despite Logan Paul's emphasis on facing a younger stronger boxer Malak underscored that iron Mike stands alone unmatched and in a league of his own the interview that he did two days ago he's like a, he's he, invincible he, he, he correct but here's the thing he he actually is. Like he's not just saying like he, he when he says that he actually is invincible like mm -hmm. like he, he the way he described it and I I didn't expect this from him like he said he's nervous right now he's nervous to get in there like, I mean you like, got you got a young hungry demon Triple H then remarked that if the old Mike Tyson shows up for five minutes how do you get past that he mentioned that Tyson doesn't need to be there for the whole fight just for five minutes or five seconds he expressed uncertainty about Jake's strategy and said he might opt to run for two or three rounds and hope Tyson gets tired for five minutes like how do you get past that right right that's he doesn't need to be there for the whole fight it needs to be there for five be minutes. For five seconds. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I hear your strategy and I see your strategy. I don't know that I wouldn't just run for two or three rounds and hope that he gets tired. <laughs> Maybe that's a strategy too. I don't I don't know. Yeah. Um. Despite concerns about his age, the creative director of WWE praised Paul and Tyson for engaging in a brawl. Triple H acknowledged his worry for the former heavyweight champion's well-being, but also recognized his autonomy as an adult to pursue his own actions. Right. And then you just come in there and pick them apart, but yeah. like. You know, I don't know. Like, and I, look, I, my hat's off to both of them for taking the fight. And, and I understand people's concerns for Mike and all that stuff. He's a grown man. If he wants to take that challenge and medically they check him out and they say he's okay, like, let's go. Do they test for DMT? 100%. <laughs> On the other hand, caution has been sounded for Mike Tyson regarding the potential peril to his well-being and facing off against Jake Paul. Mauricio Suleiman, the head of the WBC, concedes that Tyson might end up ruining his choice to step back into the ring. He acknowledged that Mike had a very ugly ending to his boxing career, being out of shape and going through a completely worse stage of his life. Mauricio Suleiman said, Mike is a legend and an unbelievable legend that has so many great things and is outstanding. He had a very ugly ending to his career in boxing, but he was out of shape and in a completely problematic stage of his life. Moreover, Suleiman added that when the world needed entertainment during the lockdowns, Mike stood up and fought Roy Jones Jr. He looked sensational and did precisely what everyone expected, which was to have an exhibition. He didn't try to hurt Roy. It was just a 
nice display of abilities. However, Suleiman thinks that this time, with Jake Paul is different. He described Jake as a young, strong, upcoming fighter. With a great following on social media, Suleiman added, This time with Jake Paul is different. He is a young, strong, upcoming fighter with great social media followers. And if it is an exhibition, then we have to support it. It is good for boxing. So, let's support it and make it a great event for kids to look up to. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, Suleiman added that every fight is dangerous regardless of age or any other factor, as one punch can change a life. He mentioned that the WBC does its best to minimize risks for all fighters when they enter the ring. He said, every fight is dangerous regardless of age, regardless of anything. One punch can change your life. We do our best effort at the WBC to minimize the risks for all fighters when they go into the ring. We have changed the sport in the last 60 years with so many medicals, precaution weigh-ins, the 15 to 12 rounds, the weigh-in the day before, and the gloves and ring. Meanwhile, Paul Pierce, the retired NBA All-Star, holds a deep passion for boxing, prompting him to offer insights into Jake's ascent in the sport and share his thoughts on the upcoming fight. Making an appearance on the The Truth Lounge series on March 9th, Pierce hinted that the impending bout might be orchestrated. He said, Sports used to be unscripted, so now I'm like, it's starting to look like everything is scripted now. He even compared the fight to a wrestling event, stating, This event right here is definitely going to be scripted. They are going to talk about what they are going to do, and they are going to be trained to deliver. Just like wrestling. That being stated, Jake Paul shows no signs of easing up in his endeavor to elevate his forthcoming bout to unprecedented heights. Nevertheless, detractors like Paul Pierce persist in articulating their severe critiques of the match. However, in a recently shared video clip from April 4th, Paul strategically positions Lil Pump, a prominent MAGA rapper, within the confines of a boxing ring. With anticipation building, Paul inquires about Pump's readiness. As Pump raises his gloved arms in affirmation, he absorbs a devastating blow from Paul's left hook, collapsing in excruciating pain. Let's go down there. You punch me once in the stomach, hard as f Body shots don't hurt that much, like when you know it's coming. A few moments later. I told you I have to do it. However, with a significant age gap of three decades between Tyson, aged 57, and his opponent, Jake Paul, aged 27, concerns regarding the former heavyweight champion's well-being loom large. In a recent analysis, Stephen A. Smith highlighted Tyson is frequently seen relying on a cane for support. Contrary to Oscar De La Hoya's concern about Paul posing a threat to Tyson's legacy, Tim Zhu emphasized that age couldn't simply be dismissed as just a number. Speaking to Fight Hype, Tim Zhu said, I hope Mike Tyson can do something, man, because he's a legend. He is almost 60. Age is not just a number. As per Tim Zhu's statements, one can safely say that he is not sure whether or not Tyson would be able to defeat Paul. However, Mike Tyson's confidence in his skills and readiness remains unwavering. Furthermore, following the revelation of several of Tyson's training sessions, the boxing community was astounded by his remarkable strength and precision at the age of 57. In light of this, UFC commentator Joe Rogan recently delved into the intricacies of Tyson's unique training regimen, particularly emphasizing the use of electrical muscle stimulation. Rogan told Brian Simpson that this method helps Tyson in rehabilitating injuries. And it also, uh, for a, a lot of people, gives them significant gains when they use it as opposed to just using weightlifting. I've I don't know too much about the science behind it. Mm. When Jamie comes back, we'll have him look it up. But you slap electrodes onto yourself. They, they, they put these pads on you, and it's hooked up to a machine. Joe Rogan mentioned that for many people, using the method provides significant gains compared to just weightlifting. Even though Rogan admitted he didn't know much about the science behind the method, he described it as putting electrodes onto oneself. He said that pads are placed on the body and connected to a machine. Rogan explained that while the electricity is going into the muscles, one performs exercises like squats and deadlifts. He described doing all these exercises while connected to the device that stimulates the muscles. Okay. And while the electricity is going into your muscles, you're doing exercises. So while you're getting jolted, you're doing squats and you're doing like deadlifts, you're doing all this shit while you're connected to this uh, thing that's Thank you. stimulating your muscles. But it Moreover, the renowned UFC commentator and celebrated podcaster asserts his belief that Tyson retains the skill and power necessary to dismantle Paul in the ring. Rogan delved into the boxing realm, drawing parallels between Mike Tyson and legendary fighters like Bernard Hopkins and George Foreman. Brian Simpson lauded Tyson's decision to step into the ring against Paul at the age of 58, citing the resilience and skill displayed by Hopkins and Foreman when they fought well into their late 40s. This, these people that think that he don't stand a chance against Jake Paul, like this shouldn't even like he because he's too old. I was like, I think you're, I think you're crazy.
Well, they're definitely uninformed. When discussing Tyson's forthcoming bout, Simpson emphasized how numerous individuals are disregarding Tyson's abilities due to his age. Rogan countered suggesting that these skeptics are ill-informed and brought up Bernard Hopkins as a reminder. Rogan stated that the only individuals who fought competitively after the age of 50 were Bernard Hopkins and Archie Moore. Because the, the, here's the thing, he is 57 years old. He, he will be 58 when they fight. He, he has had a long fighting career. He, he has been knocked out by massive men like Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield. You know, he's, he's had a lot of blows. And, you know, it's yeah. long, you know, long past the time where most people ever fight. You know, the only person that ever fought competitively in at, after age 50 is Bernard Hopkins. He later mentioned that he believed George Foreman captured the heavyweight title at the oldest age, which was 46 when he fought Michael Moore. Rogan described Foreman hitting Moore with a perfect right hand, calling it crazy. I think Foreman captured the heavyweight title at the oldest age, which was 46 when he fought Michael Moore. He hit him with this perfect right hand. It was crazy. It's notable to highlight that Foreman was 45 years old when he battled Moore, clinching both the WBA and IBF heavyweight titles. Rogan underscored Foreman's achievement as the oldest boxer to claim a title, emphasizing the distinction between 45-year-old boxers of yesteryears and those of today. Knocked out Michael Moore. He was 45. So he was the oldest man ever to win the heavyweight title at age 45 and you got to realize like that's a real 45 that's not like a 45 today the 45 today is 45 with testosterone replacement and human <laughs> oh, growth right, hormone right. and peptides what the ufc commentator subtly hinted that tyson's utilization of treatments and medications could significantly enhance his abilities suggesting that iron mike might pose a more formidable challenge than initially perceived and tyson yeah he's 57 but he got access to everything every in another podcast joe Rogan delves into the key tactics Mike Tyson must employ to clinch a surprising victory over Jake Paul. Rogan offered hope to Tyson supporters by mentioning that it was strange to even consider that the guy from Disney would fight Mike Tyson, referring to the YouTuber Jake Paul. He speculated that if Tyson could have a flashback to his glory days and unleash a combination on his opponent, it would be wild to watch. And the if Tyson can have a flashback... To the glory days. If there's just like a moment where he we just land one. sees a combination and empties it on him, that would be wild to watch. <laughs> Rogan continued by saying that if Tyson could recapture 70% of his former physical ability and still maintain about 90% of his power, it would be a challenge for anyone to deal with. He noted that the power is still evident when Tyson hits a bag. It hasn't diminished at all. He's physically capable of recapturing 70% of what he used to do. Just dealing with that, just dealing with that with probably 90% of the power, 70% of the physical ability and 90% of the power, because the power is not gone. You see it when he hits a bag. Yeah, he's you still see, got the power. The power's there, 100%. Meanwhile, Roy Jones Jr. has declared that the anticipated clash between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul will not receive official sanctioning as an exhibition bout. While the official regulations for the bout are yet to be unveiled, Jones, the previous contender to face Tyson, assures fans that it won't merely be a casual exhibition, as some have speculated. He said, The Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight is not an exhibition. I've heard it's been upgraded to a fight. If it's a fight, it's very intriguing how it may turn out because Jake Paul has gotten a lot better as a boxer over the days, but Mike Tyson, even at 58 or however old he is, is still Mike Tyson. In November of 2020, Tyson and Jones stepped into the ring, engaging in an eight-round bout characterized by abbreviated two-minute rounds and an absence of official scoring by judges. Meanwhile, amidst the undercard frenzy, YouTube sensation Paul entered the fray for only his third professional fight, delivering a a devastating knockout blow to NBA luminary Nate Robinson. Jones added, When I boxed him, he still punched like Mike Tyson. If he hits anybody square on the chin, it's going to be problematic. I don't care who it is. I like Jake Paul. He's a good guy, and he's doing good with his boxing stuff. I think it's a good promotional situation for him and Mike. They should get really good numbers, especially having upgraded to a real fight. While Tyson has shown his unwavering determination and readiness, the overarching theme remains the same. The unpredictable nature of boxing, where one punch can change the course of the match. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.